Hello and welcome to the first Lighthouse Kids at Home of 2021. Um, so a happy new year to all of you. Um, we're back again in this edition with a challenge, a craft and also some Bible content for you to look through at home together. So later on, uh, you're going to be seeing Vicky, who's uh, going to be showing you through a booklet, a magazine uh, that we've ordered, which is all about how to stay connected with God's word uh, through this difficult time of, of being in lockdown and not being able to gather as church. And Mags has got some excellent creative craft activities for you too. But firstly, I've got a challenge for you whilst you're at home. And the great thing about this challenge is that it's teaching life skills and it's making household chores, which we all have to do a lot less boring when we turn them into a competition. So in a couple of minutes, I'm going to gather uh, the rest of my family and they are going to see who can win the race of putting a duvet cover on their bed the quickest. I'm going to time them all. We're going to see who can win, whether it's going to be Jen, whether it's going to be Cameron or whether it's going to be Isaac. And then we'd love you to have a go at home, time yourselves and challenge your parents, challenge your siblings, see who can change their duvet cover the quickest. Great life skill to learn. Um, so we look forward to hearing from you. Message us uh, your top scores. OK, so here they are all in position, duvet covers at the ready. Jen thinks she's got a super tactic of doing inside out. Will experience be useful here? Uh, Isaac doesn't have any poppers, so we've agreed that no poppers are necessarily to be done up for it to count. But I do want the duvet fully in and functional for it to count. So are you all ready? On your marks, get set, and go. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, Jen's, Jen's doing well. She's got a good lead over there. Uh, it looks like you're making progress, Cameron. Can I just stop? Because I do pay it. I just say it to you. I think that actually counts. Oh, yeah. No, well, could go. It's not oh. in properly. There's still, there's still parts of the duvet out, so it's not in properly yet. <laughs> Jen looks on course for a gold medal here. Nah, Mom's trying. <laughs> Isaac's on a comeback. Isaac's on a comeback. Hello. Oh, Hello. I'm done. Okay, Jen, I will count as done there. 106. Cameron and Isaac. I think Isaac's just about there. I give Isaac that. Isaac silver and Cameron shame. Bronze. <laughs> So there you have it. See how you get on in your households. Hello Lighthouse. It's nice to see you. I hope you had a lovely Christmas and you enjoyed the goodie bags we dropped off. Um, we have obviously gone into another lockdown which is a bit rubbish and you're not able to be at school and you're not able to see your friends or do any of your clubs. But we are arming you with a tool to help you through this tricky time. So at Lighthouse, we have ordered some of these books called Life in Lockdown. Now we're going to change the zero to a one because we know it's now 2021, not 2020. However, in these books is some really good pointers to help you keep your eyes on God in a really crazy world but also some fun stuff to do. So I'm just going to show you a couple of bits that's in this book for you to do. And we would love to see your pictures and things that you've done coloured in. You can send them, get mummy or daddy to send them to Facebook or to Lighthouse um, email. And that would be really good because um, we love seeing what you've been up to. And that's something we're really missing is seeing what you've been up to. So if at any time you want to send us a picture and say, look, this is what we're doing. That would be awesome. I think most mummies and daddies have me on Facebook and I'd love to see them. So in this book, 
we have got so it's life in lockdown so it's all about working out all these funny feelings we're having in lockdown and you've got your introduction and it talks about the funny things that we never thought would happen so when 2020 started we didn't think we wouldn't be allowed out of our houses we didn't think school would get cancelled or work would get cancelled we didn't think swimming would get cancelled we didn't think that toilet paper would be cancelled remember everyone trying to buy loo roll not good and so it's got a welcome like that and it's talking about the fact that lots of things changed in lockdown. So you've got some bits and pages in here that help you look at your feelings about lockdown. Because I don't know about you, but there have been days where I felt pretty rubbish. But there's also been days where I've felt really good and really blessed that I've been able to spend a bit more time with my family. And that's one of my really, really good treasures to come out of this is I feel like me and Immy and Ollie and Bella and Drew all get on better because we've had to because we've been stuck in a house. And you've got lots of verses to help encourage you. So you've got 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries to him because he cares about you. And it's okay to have those feelings. That's totally, totally normal. But it's also okay to have good feelings about lockdown. There might be things you like. Again, you could send me a message. Right, we've got things like crosswords. And of course, it's got things. It's got rainbow, PPE. We've all heard a lot about that. Pajama day sanitizer exercise the funny word furlough that means you can't go to work of course joe wicks is on this and sir tom moore so you've got lots of words to look for on there and then you've got things that you can be thankful for so like i was just saying i was really thankful for family but we've got love and we've got electricity and we've got crafts to do and then you can draw your own bits that you're thankful for in the bottom there so you've got lots of activities one of the bits that I'm looking forward to doing, and what I will do is I will fill in this book for you guys, and I will put some pictures on Facebook to show you what I've put. Look, we've got lockdown photos. So it says my lockdown family, so who you've been locked down with. My lockdown hairstyle, can you do a crazy hairstyle to go in that one? The view out your window of your lockdown view, and the people who you've missed most during lockdown. So you could do a Zoom call and take a snapshot snapshot of you all you've got mazes so there's lots to do and one of my favorite pages and this is one i really encourage you to do is this one so this one has color the bible verse boxes now i'm looking at it backwards because i'm filming a video so it's a bit tricky but what you do is you color you read the verse and then you decide how the verse makes you feel so does it make you feel really happy or thankful and then you pick a, a colour to colour in. So if it's making you all feel happy and fuzzy, it might be red, perhaps. A warm colour. So you go through each verse, which will give you encouragement, and adults will help you read it, I'm sure. And then you think about what colour should you do that verse. So that would be a really interesting one if you can send pictures of, because we'd love to see what you've been up to and what you're thinking. And if any of our colouring in so the same colours that'd be interesting wouldn't it now there is also one for the mums and dads so in here look do three things to help around the house that's a good one so what can you do to help mum and dad can you tidy your room can you pop your clothes away Could you help sort the washing you can tell these are the jobs that I like my kids to do uh, could you wash up could you tidy up could you feed your pets there's lots of different ideas of things you could do to help. So we're hoping that this Life in Lockdown book will help you through lockdown number three and also be a record of what happens. So when you're old and grey and everyone's talking about the weird lockdown of 2020 and 2021, you'll be able to say, I was there. Look, here's my book. So I hope this will help you. And I really hope to see you soon. So send us some of your pictures. I'd love to know what you're up to. You can always message um and we just we miss you we don't like not being see, seeing you so it'd be good if you kept in touch and popped us a message that would be lovely god bless hi again everybody nice to see you at the start of 2021 you may have already had your activity bag delivered and if you have you'll know what's inside it but i'm going to explain one or two things that you could be making to do now some of the bags will have different things in you might have got a coaster to make this time, or maybe you've got a door hanger. 
You can do two different things on different sides, pens or pencils or paint. Maybe you've had some new ones for Christmas. Decorate it with something to hang on your door handle. You might instead have had some nice interesting bits like this, which are gonna make up a bookmark. Maybe you had a book for Christmas. You can make a bookmark to go in it or make it for someone else. So various choices there of what you might find in your bag. You'll find a new exciting activity book, which Vicky's told you about. And there are some worksheets, word searches and puzzles and things to color in. And this time, as well as a bag of sweets, you should find a bag of biscuits. So you can sit down, have a chill, enjoy your biscuits, and think about all the things that you are planning to hopefully happen in 2021. We'll be back again soon because next month is Valentine's Day. So you might be able to guess what the theme might be. Until then, see you soon. Bye.